tens of thousands of bats in the Northeast have died off this year as a result of a mysterious killer dubbed White Nose Syndrome. Joining us now from Bloomfield, Michigan, is Rob Myers, director of the Organization of Bat Conservation. Morning, Rob. Uh, good morning. How are you? Really good. Maybe you have a bat in your hand right there. Show us a little bit. This bat is unaffected by this white no, uh, nose syndrome. What are they finding with these bats that are dying off that, that have this, this syndrome? And can you explain what it is? Sure. Well, explaining what it is is uh, a little difficult at this point. One of the main things that we do know is that it's affecting bats during the winter time. Hmm. So when bats are hibernating in caves and mines, right. we're seeing tens of thousands of bats, unfortunately, in the New England area dying. Wow. One of the, one of the main things uh, is that these bats are so crucial because they're voracious eaters right. of insects. Yeah. Uh, they eat tons of beetles and moths especially. This is called a big brown bat, mm -hmm. uh, but one of the most common species that's being affected is called the little brown bat. Right. And also there's an endangered species as well that's called the Indiana bat that's also been unfortunately dying in the caves. Yeah. So what it is is that they've got a fungus that's growing on their nose or ears or wing, wow. but not all the bats do. Huh. So the main thing so you is go into these caves where all of these animals have died. We're looking at a picture right now, and you can see there's this okay. little white smudge around their around their nostrils. That's the only thing right. they that that really is held in common in this, right? And what's really interesting is that actually not all the bats have that either. Hmm. And so the, the bats have been collected, especially the, uh, there's been lots of them that have died. Right. They've been sent all over the country to laboratories. Mm -hmm. And what we've been able to tell so far is that that's not the cause of death. Wow. That's most likely a symptom. Hmm. The cause of death is probably really complicated, but basically they're starving to death. Isn't that interesting? Is, is, to go all the way through this process and have all these animals been analyzed now, do you, do you have any sort of a handle on what the root problem is? Well, the root problem is probably more complex, similar to the, uh, the massive die-offs of bees, mm, honeybees right. in, in uh, North America. Probably there's a good chance that it's uh, caused by pesticides. Mm. Uh, since 1999, when the West Nile virus came to the United uh, States, uh, uh. Non-agricultural pesticide use has skyrocketed. Right. So it, we call it bioaccumulation. And mm. so the bats could be building right. up this pesticide in their body. Okay. Another thing could Very be quickly. global warming. Yeah, all right. Uh, and bats could be confused mm. by uh, the winter warm coming Warm times at warm temperatures in the winter, they go out to look for these insects and stuff, and guess what? There's nothing out there. There's nothing out there for them. So interesting. But Rob there are Mice. things. Yeah, we, we've got to go for now. But in the meantime, sure. we'll keep an eye on the problem, and we hope we get an opportunity to talk to you again soon. Really, really appreciate it. Thanks so much. Thanks. So interesting.